guys welcome back to my channel so thank you so much for everyone that has stayed along with me i have taken quite a long break from youtube and lost around 40 subscribers and i totally understand so for anyone that is joining us again thank you for coming back and anyone that has stayed thank you for staying now as you can see in the title and the thumbnail we are going to be unboxing two five dollar boxes at michael's so usually what happens after a season something like christmas um, they will do these five dollar grab boxes bags or carts depending on your location and like i said five dollars and they don't tell you what's in it um it is a surprise so i found two there were tons left there and there was tons of people just going through them trying to see what was in these boxes these are a huge hit i saw someone leave with eight boxes today and they're all christmas so i am going to start unboxing them so here we go So before we get started, there are two different sizes that I have. This was the largest one I saw there. So I grabbed it and this is like their normal one. Like I said, each location is different. Some people are only able to get bags and not boxes and some locations are able to get full carts. Um, there was not a limit. You could grab as many as you wanted. And as you can see, they are only $5 and it says nothing. Um, to tell you what is in the box. This one was like this when I got it, so I could see a lot of it, so that's why I grabbed it. Um, but here we go. Okay, so it is taped up. I'll move this one to the side. All right. So lots of goodies let's bring it right here so you can see and i'm just going to start going through it and showing you prices so we had this really cute tin it's very deep and this retailed for 5.99 which already covers the cost for the entire box pretty deep good to put cookies in or anything that you make so i'm definitely keeping this and I'd like to just add anything that I don't like, um, I'm probably going to donate um, to like a school. I know lots of these things can have school projects in it, which I don't really need. So anything that I don't need, I will be donating to some schools. All right, so definitely I will not be needing this. Um, there's no one with a U in our family. And this one was originally $4.99. Okay. Now we've got a really cute Santa. How convenient, it is a golfer. Um, there's nothing on his medal, but this guy by itself was originally $30. Now I'm not gonna say it was $30 because usually we always have like a 40% off sale, but again, one item covers the entire cost for our box and he is super cute. So I'll move this to the side so you can see it in full. Next, we have this Merry Christmas to You sign. Uh, super cute. Um, lots of nice things going on here. So we've got some galvanized metal. We've got a nice bow. And this big guy used to be $20. So again, we have already paid for our box. So I actually saw this in the box and this is the reason why I got it. Um, it is this super cute bucket. Merry Christmas with a really nice car um, on both sides and a nice green and black plaid. And it looks like it is full of ornament hooks. $1.99 each and we have three. So pine cones were huge in a lot of the boxes. Um, there were some boxes that were just full of pine cones. Um, so I wanted to avoid that. This was $6.99. So again, paid for our entire box. Okay, so the next thing that we have is a, a nativity scene that you can make. 
um, says it's for six plus and it usually takes 60 minutes but it's got everything in here glue and scissors and this is what you would be making and this was originally $9.99 Okay, so this is another good find. Um, this is not necessarily Christmas because I'm pretty sure it's there in the wood section all year, but it is um, something that you can either paint or you can leave like this. And this guy is originally $11.99 and he is pretty large. So there's my hand and we've got lots of room. So $11.99 again with one product we have already paid for our entire box. Okay, so next we have some bows. This is a bag full of bows, 24 of them to be exact, and it is $5. All right, the next thing we have is a paper craft kit. Now this is something, like I was saying earlier, that I would probably donate to a school. Um, I have really no use for this, so I'm going to put this in a donate pile. All right, the next thing we have are some antler ears, I call them, but they're just antlers. And this was originally $4.99. I will be keeping these. My kids absolutely love headbands like this. So ooh, we will definitely be keeping this. Okay, another good find. Oh, this is super cute. So it looks like this is a hat. This was originally $12.99, and this is what it looks like. Um, it's very large. It's Santa going into a chimney. Um, yeah, I think that is so adorable. $12.99 for this. So it looks like this was a U-Box. Uh, not sure why. Um, it doesn't have the price on it anywhere, so I have no idea. But it is pretty cute. I do not need it because there's no one with the letter U in our home. So this will be going to donations or maybe selling. So I just found another box of ornament hooks. So that brings the total up to four. And now it looks like we have some gift card holders. Um, this was on sale for $2.99, and there are three in here, but they are super cute, and this will definitely come in handy for next year's Christmas. Oh, spoke too soon. We got two of them, so six all together. And we also have uh, some, I don't really know what this is. I guess this is to put on a wine bottle. This was $4.99. Um, and this is what, okay, so there's three in here and these are what they would look like. The front is this one and then we've got a Making Spirits Bright and a Joy. So this is a tag to put on a wine bottle as a gift. So we are almost done. Um, looks like they just threw in some ornaments, $1.99 each, and we got five of them. And the last thing in this first box is some scented cinnamon mix. Um, it's pretty small, it's only three ounces, but this bad boy was $6.99. So I'm going to clean up the area and we're gonna do box number two. Okay, so the first box is completely done and now we're moving to our second and our final box. That first box was pretty great and I will total them up to see how much we saved since these are only $5. So I rate that box like an eight out of 10. All right, like I said, this box was the biggest box that they had at my Michael, so naturally I had to get it. And let's get started. So the first thing we had is paper trays. There are two in here, and this is what they look like. This was originally 
Okay, so we've got another one of these that we had in the other box. So this will be great to go to an elementary school so that they can do this with their kids at the school. Okay, so I saw this one and this was one of the reasons why I wanted to get it. I really like advent calendars. Um, and since I have kids, I thought this would be pretty great. I do see there's a couple in here so I can donate one of them. Um, so let's see, it's getting stuck. Um, okay, so yeah, this was originally $7.99 and this is what it would look like. So I really like this one. So we've got two of them. So we've already paid for our box with just one thing, but we've already paid for it twice now. Okay, so I also saw these. Um, these are stamps. This was originally $9.99 and there are 12 in here. Um, and so looks like we've got Let It Snow, A Christmas Tree, Candy King, Merry Christmas, Snowflake, Present Hat, Light, Happy Holidays, Seasons Greetings, um, some holly and berries, and then a little snow globe. Um, there is no ink in here, so hopefully there's some ink in this box. If not, we'll just have to get some. I think this would be really, really cute to put on cards um, or just have the kids go crazy with it. So definitely worth it and is already paid for our box. Okay, so the next thing we have are some ear muffins, um, and these are little penguins, definitely for kids, and this is $4.99. I think my son will definitely love these. Um, he loves putting anything on his head when he is in control of it, so super cute. We'll definitely hold on to those. All right, the next thing we have is a Unicorn Wonderland. This is what you'd be making. It was originally $9.99. Um, it looks like this box has a ton of crafts. Uh, I don't really do these kinds of things. We'll see how the boys are feeling next year, so I may hold on to this, but I think we have a lot of them, so we will see if we're donating or keeping. So we do have two of these. Um, this is a Christmas train. This is what it looks like. Um, and this was originally $19.99. Now, like I said earlier, um, it's usually like a 40% off thing that you can get each season. So it wasn't necessarily $20, um, but definitely more than this box again. And I have two of them, so I'm not gonna talk about the second one. All right, so the next thing we have are paper roll craft kits. Um, so this is what it comes with and it has directions on the back. Um, again, this is not something I would typically do, so I will probably donate this. Um, this was $7.99. Okay, so it looks like we have another headband. This one was actually $12.99. It is super cute, and again, my kids love headbands, um, so we will definitely be holding on to this one. Okay, so we already had one in the other box, but because I have two boys and they do not like to share, it is great that we have two of the exact same ones. Um, so I'm super glad that I got one in this box as well. And this one was $4.99. So it looks like we got another bag of bows, 24 piece, $4.99. We did get one in the other box, but that is perfectly okay. Um, if we don't actually use them for gift wrapping, I'm sure the boys would love to put them all over their bodies. So I think this one is pretty great to have. All right, so it looks like we have another scent. This one has some color pine cones in it like the other one did not. Um, and this one was $6.99. And this is 1.1 liters. This one's a little bit bigger than the other one. So they read my mind and they gave us some ink pads for our little stamp. So I'm super happy about this. Um, this was pretty cheap, $2.99. Gives us a lot to work with. Um, so I'm glad I don't have to go purchase some ink. So, so glad I got this in this box. So it looks like we have some more stamps. I like the other ones better, so I probably won't even use these. Um, but it does come with six in here. It was only $2.99. I'm guessing it actually goes 
with this. Um, you buy it separately, but it looks like it would fit these better than our tiny ones. But I'm going to be using the tiny ones for the ink pads. All right, so now we have scented ornaments. Um, I don't see a price. I don't think that these are very expensive anyway. But this just smells like pine. And there are six in here. Okay, next thing we have are some craft sticks. There are 80 in here. There are red and green. Um, I'm a little disappointed because I actually picked up, <coughs> I actually picked up some at the same store at the same time. Didn't know that they had them in here. But I am glad that I have both of them, 30 piece. Um, I don't see a price, I think these were like $3.99, $4.99 for 80, so this is pretty great. So we have a, another thing of these, um, like I said, don't know what the price is. I think they're probably like three bucks, uh, nothing too expensive. We are almost finished. All right, so we have our third bag of bows. We have these foam stickers for $2.99. There's 12 in here. Okay, so we've got a little ornament, a tiny treasure. Oh, is that ornament? Okay, so no, this is not an ornament. This is to put in if you have like a village. So this is what this looks like. This was originally $4.99. And last but not least, this beautiful little fairy. Um, looks like she is a little damaged. She's missing one of her shoes. So we'll probably just toss her. She was only $1.99. Um, and I have two boys, so I have no need for this. Okay guys, that is it. Altogether, I spent $11 because of taxes. These were $5 bags. Now, I recommend going soon because they're probably me all sold out very quickly. Uh, they opened up in my area today and one store was sold out in two hours of being open. Um, so please go check it out very soon. I think this is a great way to save money if you're starting out or you just like to be frugal with your money. Um, so buying for the next year after Christmas is done is the best way to save your money um, or going to Goodwill. But I feel like this is a great way. It is kind of a risk. Uh, there could be boxes that you don't like anything and you spent $5, but at the end of the day, it is fun to do. I think my boxes were pretty good. Um, they're not as good as I've seen them to be, but uh, this is my first time participating. Every time I try to go get them, they're all sold out. So I'm super excited that I was able to do this today. Um, I'm hoping I can do this in the future for more seasons to come. If you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments. And Happy New Year. Uh, since this is my first video back, I was not able to say this before. I really hope everyone has a great new year. Uh, we have lots of things changing this year. Hopefully this coronavirus will uh, cease to exist very soon and we can go back to how we were living before. But until then, keep our masks on and stay six feet away. I'll see you next time.